guys welcome to my channel today i'll be sharing the process of joining the gun in on the screen i'll be showing you the process of joining it so if you are new to my channel you are welcome my old subscriber thank you for sticking by me i love you so i'm going to be sharing the process if you have not watched how i caught the princess cut you go and watch it i'm sure my old subscriber they are up to date then uh, how to cut the pencil skirt side go and watch it so i'm going to show you the process how to sew it how to join it so if it's something you are interested in then stick by and let's get to the process so guys the first thing we're going to do is to join our princess dads them out i will join this to this lining to lining the fabric to fabric one will, after joining they will not press they will not treat the downside of the dress and i will show you how to cut the uh, slit side and put um, the rope so guys i finished sewing the princess that for both the front and the back so now we're going to place the front on top of the back to remove some of the excess that we did not remove while we were cutting the princess cut so I will show you how to do it when you place your front make sure that they are equal we check the shoulder back that was one and a half longer than the front okay so we check that then we check our waist the waist was 29 divided by 4 which was 7 quarter so plus the remaining sewing allowance which is going to be one and a half inches because we use half inch from this side to join to the front so this is it okay then the busted line we we'll check it which was 37 divided by 4 which was 9 quarter we we'll mark it plus one and a half okay we we'll check this side the same thing 9 quarter plus one and a half inches okay so now why we check the zip side you will notice at this point at the waistline and the under bust that there's an xx at the back at the zip line so we'll measure from that point we measure one and a half inches out measure one and a half inches out one and a half inches out so the thing stops at the bust line just as it happened on our basic bodies when we were drafting so now I'm going to connect the cut of any excess. Okay, so that is what we're going to cut that one off. Then the neckline, so that was it, but I want it to come in a little bit. So I'm going to remove like one inch from the shoulder line. So, so I'm going to recut that point removing one inch so at the neckline it is um i need five inches in or let me make it four and a half then what i want so i'm going to record that point i'm still going to cut the front on another neckline so This. So I will notch the center of the front, guys. You will notice I didn't add any SD or paper gum to my fabric. Reason being that I'm working for a brand, so we're working on a specification for a ready to wear, so we don't need any of that on the main fabric. But we added on the lining so that the lining will have some structure so that is the reason why we don't have it on our fabric so i'm going to recut the neckline for the front i'm going to open it up okay so from this shoulder i'm going to measure down five inches Five inches then at this point I'm going to measure uh, two and a half inches okay two and a half inches 
So I'm going to pronounce it this way. Okay. Yes. Pronounce it this way. Okay. So that's the next plan we want. So by the time we finish sewing, this one will be five and a half, and this one will be three inches. It will be three by five. So guys, we're gonna place on our lining, then make sure the lines always allow your sewing points to align. So place it in the now also half an inch notch and turn. I will do the same to the back. So guys, I finished sewing the neckline as you can see. So the next thing because I'm all um, sleeveless, I'm going to turn the ample. So if you have watched my baby dress, how to make a baby dress, you will see how I turn my ample. So guys, I've turned the armhole, as you can see, I've turned the armhole, so I'm going to pull it from the front and pull the back out. Put your two finger and pull the back out from the front, just as I'm doing, pull it out. So you do the same thing to the other side so the next thing is to press so guys i finished pressing it as you can see i finished pressing so the next thing we do is to pin our sides and sew our side seam which was one and a half inches so we align it together so we mark it all through one and a half one and a half So guys, we are going to work on the skirt side, but before we start, we are going to reduce the lining by 2 inches. So we are going to mark it and cut it out. The skirt side is 27, why the hemming allowance added to it was 3 inches. So I'm going to remove two inches from the front and from the back. So guys, I've sewn the back and I've turned it, I've pressed it, so we need to take care of the front now. So just like I said, I've sewn the strips of bow, so you place it two inches interval from each other. So I'm going to place it now. Interval. So you place the other one. You can see I place them on the lining. So what I need to do now is to sew half an inch this way, sew half an inch this way, then I will turn. I will show you when I finish doing. So guys, I finished sewing the front. I have uh, top stitch it. So the next thing to do is to pick, pick them and sew. 
pick the two sides, the slits that will cut. We'll go and sew it half an inch. So after sewing, we will now place on top of our lining. This on top of our lining. Place, making sure that the lining and the fabric is equal. Go sew this part out. So guys, I've finished sewing it and I've cut out the excess lining, the lining at this uh, slit line. So the next thing is to notch it very close to, to the stitches. Okay, we we'll notch, we we'll turn, then we we'll press. So the next thing to do is to top stitch this side, the top stitch it around. So guys, I've finished ironing and I've tied my bows. As you can see, I've tied them. Then, you remember I said uh, I don't add that allowance to front. The reason I added it was to enable me to cut the slit in the front to be able to join it. So now I'm going to recut my front. We measure and remove the excess that I have in the front before joining my front and my back together. So my waist was seven quarter, as you can see here, seven quarter. So the one inch I'm going to remove it. Then I'm going to mark the two inches. Uh, sewing allowance. My hip was 10 inches, okay, the two inches. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm going to curve it from that point. And shape. Okay, so for the back now. I'm going to pin the front and the back together before sewing the zip side. I'm going to pin the sides. I'm going to pin the sides then. We're going to sew. So I'm going to open it up and make sure this place, uh, this point that I sew aligns. Then I'm going to sew the fabric to fabric and sew the lining to lining to it. So guys, the skirt has finished, has been done. The next thing is to fix the upper side, the top side to the skirts. So then we fix the zip. So guys, our dress is finished. This is the inner side of the dress. This is the bow tie. That we're going to tie then the back i had to interlock the zip side so as you can see so guys our dress is done thank you for sticking by thank you for watching thank you for watching to the end see you in my next projects bye